Hi everyone and welcome to SFU Clan TV Sports Desk. I'm Jade Richardson and here are the SFU athletic stories you need to know. Men's basketball defeated Alaska on Thursday before losing to Alaska Anchorage two days later. Led by Songo Niang's 23 points, SFU beat the Nanook 79-71. With a minute to go before halftime, Songo Niang found Roderick Evans-Taylor for the alley-oop, bringing the home crowd to their feet. In the second, Alaska battled back to within two from a 17-point deficit with just under seven minutes left in the game. However, solid play from the clan starters kept the game under control as SFU hung on for the win. Coming off their first two-game win streak since joining the GNAC, the clan were unable to defend Alaska Anchorage's 23-point performance as they fell 115-98 to to the Seawolves. The clan women fell 89-76 to number 22-ranked Seattle Pacific Falcons on Thursday and dropped a 79-74 decision to Montana State Billings on Saturday. The team has now lost three straight for the first time in five years, but will look to get back in the win column this weekend versus Central Washington and Northwest Nazarene at home. On the day SFU Swimming honored its graduating class, it was the seniors who lifted the clan women to a 151-111 victory over Division I Seattle University Red Hawks. Senior Nicole Cossie won the 50 and the 100 meter freestyle races and was part of two winning relays, while senior Carmen Nam won the 800 and 400 meter freestyle. Senior Grace Nee won the 100 meter backstroke while Alexandria Schofield finished first in the 100 meter butterfly and swam the third leg of both winning relays for the clan. On the men's side, freshman Adrian Vanderhelm won three individual races but it was the seniors who stole the show, helping SFU defeat Seattle University 162-98 as the clan men won all but two races against the Red Hawks. Senior Dimitar Ivanov won the 100 and 200 meter backstroke, while Hans Heyer contributed to victories in the 400 meter medley relay and the 200 meter freestyle relay. Vanderhelm won the 100 and 200 meter freestyle as well as the 200 meter individual medley, while freshman Tim Wojnowski won the 400 and 800 meter freestyle events. The SFU indoor track and field teams put up top performances at the University of Washington Invitational Saturday, turning in nine more NCAA Division II qualifying standards. Lindsay Butterworth earned her second automatic qualifying standard of the year with a Division II leading time of 2.06.56 in the 800 meters, while Jennifer Johnson ran an automatic qualifying standard of 4.47.11 in the mile. Four clan men posted provisional qualifying standards, including a first-time qualifier by Cameron Perceviat, who ran a time of 1.52 in the 800 meters. The Clan Distance Medley Relay teams also ran their first provisional qualifying times of the season with the women leading the nation and the men running the fifth best time in 2015. Finally, Alan Koch resigned as head coach of the Clan men's soccer program on Friday to become the head coach of Whitecaps FC 2. Koch coached at SFU for seven seasons and led the Clan to back-to-back -back final four appearances in the NCAA Division II National Championship Tournament in 2012 and 2013. Koch leaves Simon Fraser with an all-time record of 126 wins, 21 losses, and 7 draws. Don't forget you can visit athletics.sfu.ca to read more about these stories and stay connected with us on social media. I'm Jade Richardson and we'll see you next time.